New tonight, we have learned the Tampa attorney accused of jailhouse sex with inmates has made more than a dozen visits to Bay Area jails just this year. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joins us now live at the Pinellas County Jail where the sheriff tells us they busted this attorney. Corey. Good evening, Josh. And right now, that attorney is still able to represent clients. And we're told if he's found guilty, this could go all the way up to the state Supreme Court to decide the future of his law career. Tampa attorney Andrew Spark accused of making porn videos with inmate Antoinette Napolitano in the Pinellas County Jail. And he was fully exposed when detectives entered the room. Spark turning 55 today, facing serious charges. Napolitano, the alleged star in several of his X-rated videos, released from jail today. There was no answer at her last known address. Right now, deputies believe more female inmates took part in Sparks' videos during his private visits at jails. Not just in the Pinellas County Jail, but in other jails. Deputies tell us Spark was at the Pinellas County Jail at least 11 times this year. All of those visits under investigation. In Hillsborough, we're told he made five professional visits with two inmates who have since been released. Deputies tell us there's no determination of any wrongdoing there. Officials in Pasco County don't believe he's had any clients in their jail. I I'm nearly speechless about this one. This is really troubling. Well-known Bay Area criminal defense attorney John Trevina is concerned that Spark is still able to practice. Right now, the Florida Bar, the organization of licensed lawyers in the state, is investigating. The bar does have the authority to do an emergency suspension in certain cases, but typically that involves a felony-level offense. And Spark resigned for, as an assistant attorney general back in 2011. And we're told that during that time, he was on their radar there at the office for using the services of a company he was investigating. And we're told it was an administrative decision to stop looking into any possible violations when he resigned. Back to you. All right, Corey Davis live in Pinellas County for us. Thank you.